God knows the kids that are completely useless when it comes to taking care of the babies always want to go to the crying babies and get in mom's way. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's been two months. Um, in the last video I posted, I said I was not quitting the 100 Babies Challenge, and I am not quitting the 100 Babies Challenge. I didn't mean it to be two months since I posted that video saying sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I kind of just forgot about the 100 Baby Challenge. I really need to stop pre-recording these episodes because I have about like three or four that have now been deleted and so uh, I was at, it's it's three o'clock in the morning right now by the way. Um, and I was just on YouTube, like, you know, minding my business, and I clicked on my videos instead of my history, and I'm like, oh yeah, 100 Babies Challenge. I'm like, oh, that was a long time ago, and I'm a lot further now, but the episodes got deleted. And it's fun to do this right now because I've actually recently babysat for a few days, and so I now have experience with real toddlers. So jumping back in with the two toddlers we have now, it'll actually be interesting to see the comparison. Between how real the toddlers are compared to real life. Because, so I babysat two little girls who were three and one years old. So it'll be interesting to see if the toddlers in the game compare to real toddlers. The three-year-old was more challenging. Stubborn, talked back, put up a fight. Um, the baby was easier. She's The one-year-old was easier. Sweetest little thing. I mean, the three-year-old was a sweet little girl too. Don't get me wrong, but she was more challenging. Okay, so here's the house. Um, I don't build my own houses because I suck at building. This house is not in my gallery anymore, so, yep. Um, I don't know if... Ah, large nine-bedroom house. Doesn't say who it's from. But I decorated it myself, so I take houses off the gallery. I sometimes change floor plans. I sometimes don't. Most of the time I don't. And then most of the time the, the ones that I got I get off the gallery had, were made with packs that I don't have. So I usually have to redecorate like walls and stuff. So the outside of the house I'm pretty sure I decorated it. But yeah this is what it looks like. We've got some bikes out here. Is there enough for all the kids to see too? Or we need to get a, another bike out here, but we have a basketball court, um, garbage recycling area. Well, this is not recycling, but I'm pretending it's recycling. This is the yard. They built a tree house together. Um, we have a random potty outside for no reason. Let me just... Where's that potty supposed to be? I don't know. We'll leave it there. Um, so we've got this little backyard set up. We have some older kids now, so we've got a little swing set. We still have a bunch of toddler stuff. Um, we got a pool, a toddler pool, little outdoor eating area. Okay. Um, dun, dun, dun. Going into the house, this is the front entrance. So I don't want to make this too long, just the house tour. Because um, last time I did it, it was like 20 minutes long, and I don't even know why. But there's the front entrance. I like this setup here. It's like things that just like got abandoned and forgotten about. So we got like a random doll, a teddy bear, a Barbie that is still in the box, hasn't even made it out of the box yet. Like a homework book or a library book. Yeah, um, we've got a little purse, mail, thing set up over here. I have some new um, CC items that I could probably decorate more. And this actually just needs to be updated because now we've got like more kids. Ignore the dolls up there. Um, I don't know why they're there. But we have a little playroom set up over here. 
So we got a little uh, older kid set up with a TV and a game uh, station. Uh, we've got infants over here. Um, I have given up on infants having bedrooms. They now sleep in the playroom, so it's easier. <laughs> uh, we've got a little puppet thing, some stuff over here. We've got stuff over here. This is CC. It's a craft station for toddlers. They can use it. We have a bathroom in here. Over here, we've got just a little um, infant, uh, not infant, a uh, newborn room. Um... Over here is mom's bedroom. It's, you know, plain, just mom's bedroom. Okay. Over here we have this, like, I put, like, CC uh, board games on here. I think these are CC. And we've got the kids' handprints over here and over here. This leads out into the backyard. We've got a little living room set up here. I really like this house. I get bored playing in the same house for too long, but I definitely want to stay in this house for quite a while. We've got all the kids up here. Um, it needs to be updated, but yeah. Um, over here is a kitchen. Looks like somebody just had their birthday. And then over on this side, we have the dining room. Then we've got a little computer set up here, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Oh, yeah, we have the kids' drawings over here. Okay. And here is the nanny's room. So we still have our living nanny. We don't really need her now that the kids are older. But, I mean, once Noah's out of the house, we'll be, like, having new kids. So we'll need the nanny. All right, moving on to the bedrooms upstairs. Okay, so let's do this in birth order. We have Noah's room over here. Oops, sorry, Noah did not mean to catch you in the middle of a shower. Um, oh, I guess this needs to be updated a bit because this he can't use anymore. But, um, Noah has the creative trait, or at least he did when he was a kid. I don't know if he still does. Let's see. No, wait, that's not the traits. He doesn't, but he used to love art when he was a kid, so I tried to make the room artsy. Um... And so, but now he's a teenager, so I've kind of just updated his room a bit. He's also got a bathroom, a personal bathroom. Uh, this is Levi's personal bathroom, and this is Levi's room. It is a little more plain. Um, he's got a pile of clothes hiding under his desk. And um, he's still got some, uh, yeah, well, he is still a child, so yeah. Uh, who's the oldest girl? Andrea. Andrea's room is... Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I think this is Andrea's room here. <laughs> I think so. So this is Andrea's room. And she has a shared bathroom with Sienna. And this is Sienna's bedroom. We have a bathroom laundry room here. We've got a little kid's bathroom over here. Um, June's room is over here. Apparently everyone likes to dump their homework in this room. Uh, I guess she just aged up because they still got a toddler bed. When I made this house I forgot we had toddlers in the house and I really wanted to use this bed so I just added a toddler bed for June to use in the meantime. And then over here we have the twins' room. So this is Kaysen's room. It's a under the water theme. And then we have Scott's room over here. And that is the house. I really like the house. Okay, so let's review. We have Mom, and she has... Seven children. And I do have MC Command Center, but I am not allowing myself to have more than eight Sims in the house at a time because that is technically cheating. Um, so we are not pregnant right now. She has seven children currently. We have a live-in maid and night nurse. And if you don't know what a night nurse is, the way I understand it is it's a 
nanny that specifically takes care of children at night um, so that mom and dad can sleep. Or at least that's how I understand it. So I actually only heard it one time and it was in a TV show. So I don't even know if it's a real thing, but okay. Oh, our nanny's name is Aya Alahabib. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Uh, where's the family tree? Okay. So, her first child was a science baby, and it was just because I wanted to skip the boring pregnancy for the first baby, and also wanted to try out the science baby feature that came with growing together. So, Noah is the oldest. He is now a teenager. So, he was the science baby. He is baby number one. And then we had Levi with this guy, Simon. Um, he is a child. And then we had our first daughter, Andrea, with Well, that doesn't make any sense because why and her father's white and her mother's white, why is she Um, moving on, we then had Sienna with, what is with these white men having dark-skinned babies? This wasn't the way it was before, was it? And then we had June, okay, yours is still black, okay. Um, we had June with Messiah, and then we had the twins. Kaysen was first, and is it just me, or were their fathers black? Because why are the children black if both their parents are white? I, I swear to God their fathers were black. Is it just me? Okay, let's find out. It's like a lot at longer after this video was made but i've completely forgot about this so i don't have the videos anymore on my computer so i have to go through my channel but let's see because i am so confused in that video and i'm still confused now and then we had andrea they were they were black! They changed colors! Look! They were black! And then we had Sienna, who is the son of this guy who is married. He wasn't married when we hooked up with him. Alright, and then we had June. Who is the daughter of Messiah? He's the one who didn't want to get us pregnant. He wasn't interested in that. So I forced him by using MC Commander to have a pregnancy with him. And then we have Kaysen and his twin brother. Their fathers changed skin colors. How the hell did that happen? I have never had that happen before. That is so funny. I was so confused. I was like, why are the children black and their parents are not? I'm like, I'm so confused because I remember their fathers being black. Like, why are they white? They change freaking colors. <laughs> that is so not funny, but funny at the same time. <laughs> like, the game was accidentally racist. The game was accidentally racist. What caused that? Does anyone know what caused that to happen? That is... Okay. Oh, 
That doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure their fathers were dark-skinned. Um, is she working on a relationship with anyone right now? It doesn't look like it, so we're going to need to meet some potential baby daddies. Um, how's the calendar looking? Okay, we have Noah's birthday and the twins coming up. Um, okay. Oh. He just aged up, so we're not going to be having babies for a while. That's unfortunate. Um... Okay. I don't think we're going to have a birthday in this episode. Because usually I do about two or three days at a time. <gasps> um, it looks like the, he's going to have a career day, though. I guess we'll do that. I haven't actually played very much with the events that come with high school years. I mostly got high school years because I wanted the graduation cap and gown. And I wanted the school function, like the school system, like going to school. Um, and I wanted the graduation ceremony. But Okay, it's 9 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. It's the first day of fall. I guess, has everyone, like, been fed? Okay. Um... We are in desperate need of baths over here. Scott, are you potty trained? No, of course not. Okay. Okay, um... I guess we will go ahead and give them a bath. Who needs it more? Kaysen. Okay. Kaysen will get one first. And probably would have been beneficial to have a bathroom down here that had a tub. Um... This was probably supposed to be a bathroom, but I made it the nursery. Just thought it would be easier to have the babies on the first floor because mom is going to be in the playroom most of the time except for at night. And the mom and nanny's bedrooms are downstairs, so it was more convenient to have the babies down here. And I wanted it in a room they could lock so I could keep the kids out of the way. Because God knows the kids that are completely useless when it comes to taking care of the babies always want to go to the crying babies and get in mom's way. Um, go give Case in a bath then. Oh dear. What has happened here? I am so bad at keeping track of this, like, laundry. I'd... Can you go do with that, please? <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. Okay. Um. He still loves to write in his journal. Is that even yours? That's not yours! This is...
Noah Coleman's private journal. Noah Coleman's private journal. Why do you have two private journals? I don't know, but we can go ahead and get rid of this. What can we put there in its place for teens? I don't know. We have a little set here for his like writing and stuff. We have a desk over there for his homework. Maybe give him a little computer area. Or maybe a bookshelf. Okay, we'll give him a bookshelf. Because if I give him a computer, all of the kids are going to want a computer in their rooms. And they don't need computers in their rooms. Can we not just have a nice, small bookcase? That's, like, short, too. Because... this. No. All I have that are small are the nursery ones. Would it look weird if I downsized it? No. Looks fine. Okay. And we can get rid of this toddler bed here. Move this over here. Any other improvements? Oh, yes. We have all these um, bikes for the kids, but okay. Just give me a second. I just want to replace Noah's bike with a grown-up one. I don't get it. They all look the same height. Here, we'll give them this one because it actually looks bigger. Okay. Oh, Levi, what are you doing? All right, it's fine. It's outside. So, yeah, as long as you clean it up, it's fine. Thanks, bud. Okay. How are we doing with the bath? I'm just going to save real quick. Okay. Feels good to finally be back at this. I never planned on quitting the 100 Baby Challenge. I just put it on the back burner and forgot about it. How are we doing, Scott? No, you do not. Oh, I'm sorry. You were going to ask him to read you a book. I thought you were asking him to give you a bath. The nanny is out here playing a basketball. She's not cooking, not cleaning, not doing anything productive. Nope, she's out here playing basketball. It's good to see the sense hasn't changed and another broken machine. Oh wait, before we set a fire to this house. Right. Oh, you're done. Good. You can go ahead and give one to Scott. Didn't I just try this laundry? Whatever. I think the laundry is broken. What's everyone else doing? Noah is down here on the computer. We've got two girls over here watching TV, playing with the infant toys. All right, whatever suits your fancy there, June. Andrea is 
playing with the infant toy in the nursery in the playroom. And Levi's over there. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little boring now that all the kids are older and there's not going to be chaos. But we just have to get through it. Mother, you need to use the toilet. You came all the way upstairs to wash one cup when there's a sink, two sinks downstairs. I don't understand this game. Andrea! Kids. Always breaking something. Completely useless. Oh, look, we actually have a child doing something productive. This child is. How are we? I don't trust my recording. Because the game. I don't know. My, my things don't like to work. And it's 3.30. I'm so tired. I don't know why I did this at 3 o'clock in the morning, but whatever. Does anyone else need to do their homework? Yes. Where is your homework? You can go do that. You need to do your homework. And you need to do your homework as well. Why are you sad? Okay, well, I didn't mean to make you strict. It's just because, like, we have to keep everything in order or things, like, very quickly go to hell. And you can actually go and do something that you never get to do, which is have fun. So, like, whatever you want to do. Read a book. How are we doing? You're good. You're going to go play. You're good. You're going to go talk to the nanny. <laughs> We've got two girls out here doing homework. Levi's on his phone. Noah's doing his homework. Andrea's doing her homework in Sion in June's room. Good job, Andrea. Responsibility is now in the rage to earn the responsible trait. Good job. Noah has finished his homework. Good job. Should we get you a job or something? <laughs> Let's give him an after school activity. Uh huh. What would you wanna What would you wanna do? You could be on the cheer squad, you could be a chess member, computer team member, football team member, or a scout. Mmm. I don't see him being a football player. Scout, maybe. I don't really see him being on the cheer squad. I don't know. He's very creative, so maybe. Maybe the cheer squad. Don't know. Chess team. Not sure. Let's. I think he would enjoy the scouts. Honestly, we'll go with the scouts. Oh, he'd be a scout leader. That's cool. Oh, I'm gonna have the kids be scout members. That's so cute. Okay, we can definitely do that. That's so cute. Okay. We'll, we'll need a little area to do that, right? So how about like right here in the hall?
So we'll need this. Let's go with the white one. Okay, we'll go with the white one. Um, can we center that? Cool. View bad progress. Progress. Collect badge. Changing to scouting uniform. Ooh. Should we see it? Let's go see what it looks like. Let's have all the little ones join the scouts. I think that would actually be kind of cute. If Noah was a scout leader and all of his little siblings were the scouts. Aww. Looks cute in a scout uniform. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Where, where are you going? You're gonna go play in the pool. Okay, that's fine. You are not that hungry. You're being so dramatic. But we will go ahead and make dinner. We'll have a ham dinner. Okay. Hey, little guy. What's going on? We've got little case in, in the pool. It's not going to be warm enough to do that much longer. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, he's reading his brother a book. That is so cute. You're up here. You're going to use the science table. Let's see how you do. Fiona is taking a bath. Well, um, yeah, your life. You want to like fitness? Um, why don't you guys start to come and sit on these chairs? Great. I want to just set that down on the counter. On the counter! <laughs> Go ahead, call the family to the meal. Oliver come and get your food, everyone, and come have a meal with the family. Ooh. I guess mama's in the pool. How was everyone's day? How was everyone's Sunday? Now, are you not um, eating today, apparently? Why don't you go ahead? I feel bad. The toddlers don't even get to sit at the table. But I actually figured out something that's really cool. If you want your toddlers to sit at the table. And you don't need any mods to do it. You just need move up desk on. I'll wait until they finish eating and then I'll show you. Any high chair you want. I like to pick one that looks the most like a chair. Um, I don't have any options.
Uh. Okay, for the sake of it, let's let's just pick this one. Okay. So you see how it goes like that, right? So what you want to do is put on to uh, move up this on, and you need to put on testing cheats enable true first. Okay, move objects on, BB dot move objects on. Go ahead and place the high chair. Okay, take another high chair so that it doesn't, you have to put a high chair first so that it, this won't snap into place. And just move it. It helps if you have a table that doesn't have glass so you can't see the tray, but Okay, it has to be out a little bit so that you can click on the plate. This should work. It was set working before, I don't know why. Okay. There. And now it looks like he's eating at the table with everyone else in a regular chair. Of course, the foods. Doing that, it wasn't doing that when I tested it out. I don't know why it's doing that now. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have him eat and then he, okay, you're done actually. So you can go off to bed. I'm gonna get everyone to do their little night routine. What are you doing? As usual, we'll skip the night. Oh yeah, I can get rid of this now. But if you really did want your toddlers to be able to sit at the table, if you go to Around the Sims, they have a toddler table and toddler chairs. The chairs function as high chairs, so you have to put the toddlers in them. They do not work for infants. And the mod ha well, is not updated. So if they still work for the toddlers if you do it right. But um, they don't update it anymore. So let's just... This is what it is. It comes with two tables, but I can't get the other one to work. And this is the chair. So you want to use move objects on to do this. I don't remember exactly. I think it's supposed to be like this. I didn't do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be further away. Sick. Yeah, it's because it's too close to the wall. Okay. daycare scene that I did with uh, with this. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hey! Add the food first. Now what? Yabu! Yabu! 
Okay, I don't know why it's not working anymore. It was working perfectly fine. I'll even prove it. I'll put the clips I have. It's because it's not centered. I don't have the energy to deal with this. I'll just put the clips I have to prove that it works. But you need to go to bed. What? How many times do I have? Can't yell. Four o'clock in the morning. Go to bed. I'm gonna babysit you. Go. Look, I'm watching. Bed. You too. Out. Go on. Do I need to babysit you or are you going to do what you're told? Sorry, I'll give you some privacy. You don't need to go downstairs to wash your hands. They break everything, I swear. Okay. I'm really tired, so I think I'm going to finish this tomorrow. Or today, but later today. I have to go to bed. You know what? I think I'll actually just end the episode here. Yeah. I'll end the episode here. Uh, we didn't do much today, but I just want to come on and say, like, I'm not quitting. I just forgot about the baby challenge, but yeah. So we're back. I don't know how often I'm going to post. I have other projects right now, but yeah. Not quitting. I'm here. I'm still here. <laughs>